from the uh, default night drip, by the way. He's got the, uh, this is like the premium default night drip. He's got the yeah. same pattern still, but a little bit yeah. nicer. It's the I weathered like version too, I love it. Fight begins. This is uh, first to seven. We're in the grand finals now, guys. Put your votes in chat. Who do you think is going to take this? Remember, Quasi or Bungie coming off of a loser's final win, being knocked out once already by Quasi, has to win two back-to-back -back seven sets to knock Quasi out. Quasi just needs to win this one time to win the final. Nobody taking any damage here yet. A lot of reposts. Still feeling each other out, I think. Yeah, I don't think they want to take too many risks. Bungie whiffs there, but he gets oh, a nice axe kill. Wow, that's interesting. I wonder yeah, if yeah. Quasi just up there and what happened. I don't think he was expecting that. Oh, wow, great defense there it's from Quasi, but he's wow. actually out of stamina wow. and he gets killed. Wow, oh, great gee, disarm. Wow, looks totally like a different man. With Dana's yeah, eyes. I think, yeah, I think this is definitely... Round two. Bungie up 1-0 in this first 2-7 match of the Grand Finals. Really both these players, just people's champions in their own rights. Oh, absolutely. Well known in the communities. Well, well known as some of the best of TO and LTS that I've seen them also just both dominate, just having scores just uh, unfathomable. Yeah, 100, 100 kills, under 5 deaths. Yeah, these guys are our titans of this game. Uh, some of the most recognizable names and easily the best players. Oh, yeah. Quasi holding on to the uh, title of best player after winning last of the both Trial by Bloods. He's won both one and two. Uh, so pretty dominant grasp on uh, the skill ceiling here. But let's see if we can get an upset here from Bungie. Bungie, very, very close. With this, this raw emotion I didn't see with him earlier where he's just... He's pressing W. And yeah, he's Quasi's into like, it. He's very trying aggressive. Trying to catch him making a mistake, but he obviously has a... Coming off that match with Sheepy and just... Great combo off the block there by uh, by Bungie, actually. Yeah, it's just, uh... Oh, but he okay. gets punished. Punish. Yeah. He's patient there. He's patient. That was a really good combo off the block there for for, uh, for Bungie, though. He knows he doesn't want to get caught in neutral. He says, I, I'll take this inside and uh, I'll keep dictating the pace because clearly the day and axe is just something that Quasi is not... As used to, I don't think he's necessarily faced it yet in this tournament. So we didn't we didn't see a quasi chibi match, which would have been interesting. But wow, what a great drag overhead there yep. from quasi. He takes Bungie out. That's gonna tie the Bungie match just up getting here. Too com getting too comfortable, and he's, he's invincible and gets caught with a couple of good overheads, and that's it. Got to be careful. Quasi is a machine, and he can read almost anything. So he looks for those weaknesses and he will exploit them the second he sees an opening. Bungie has to play perfectly. Both players, of course, have to play perfectly, but I think it's just a matter of uh, who can do it for longer. Yeah. Quasi no slouch. He's been doing these tournaments for a long time. He's got a lot of uh, nerve. Do with the first hit. Nice little catch a uh, horizontal excel earlier. Nice jab here. Somebody's low on stamina. I think it's quasi. Not anymore though. Yeah, nothing but blue right now. Yeah, we're just getting counters back to back here. Oh, big oh. Axel. A spacing thing, I think. Just yeah. Maybe it. Quasi very similar to T Bird whipping his attacks the second he has in release when he wants that quick axel. Nice jab Great into the jab, combo yeah. there. And the double jab taking a page out of T Bird's book again, but yeah. I don't think we can patent that to anyone. I think that's a reliable tech and actually for those of you struggling against one-handed players a very good technique in neutral to use sparingly but definitely effective at throwing off their tempo 
Yeah, you gotta make sure you keep the rhythm of the fight against players like that. So yeah, well, you again, can see Quasi's this... doing that really well right now because he's fighting a very aggressive player with the Dane Axe, so he needs to be able to keep control of the tempo, and that's what he's doing right now with that jab. Yeah, oh, this arm is a bit faster, but not that much faster. Bungie is jabber kick off, so this. Yeah, he's gonna get kicked here. Just trying to condition him, like you say. And... Mm -hmm. oh. oh, but he, he got, got hit though. though. He's that's he's. A winning he's... Game. Yeah, no, no. So he can't—he can't gamble the kick. He has to—he has to do it when he knows he has the opportunity. Yeah, jab. Wow. Wow. Not Gets kicked. Punch. And he reads the jab. It's tense. They He's both read still the, jab reading again. the jabs, man. Yeah, the jabs are Excellent. coming out swinging, but they're being blocked. Bungie playing very aggressively. He's on no health. He's jabber kicked to death, he no and he right. has to be. He has to be perfect right now. Whenever a jab comes out, he has to either be spaced out or he needs to be ready to block it. Surprise, Quasi didn't go for a kick at least once there, but he is on low health. So he's like probably going for a safer issue, option. It, I think he knows Bungie's looking for the kick. He's he's ready. Yeah, he is. He is. He's That's one hundred percent true. I don't know, that'd be sick, but... The jab is safer for sure. But he keeps not landing it. They, they're both reading the jabs. You're like, forget about that. Wow. Just out of the endurance level. on these players. Somebody's low on stamina. Oh, and a quick axel faint. Yeah, that's like that's like that two minute mark where it's really you know. <laughs> it's hard to keep up that long. Man. With one hit left, I mean, man. Oh, oh, wow. I like this. Wait, no, he's he's capping, he's capping with the one hander. Okay. <laughs> Battle Axe. Okay, here we go. I think this is a decent matchup against uh, a knight here. I think I think uh, Quasi has already adapted to the aggressive playstyle that got him killed early on, well, and, and I, now Bungie is adapting it back. And this is this is how he's gonna start taking rounds. Again. The aggressive playstyle with with this axe is much more punishable than it is with the Dane Axe. That's the only risk he incurs. But he hasn't whiffed yet, so we'll see how it goes. I think he's going to be a little bit less aggressive. I think he's looking for more drags, I feel like, at this point, because he's getting red on the Dane Axis too easily at this point. Great. Oh, but he doesn't have the range, and he moved out of the way. Good jump there. I would have hit with Greatsword, though. Yeah, I think so. Wow, Quasi's countering all of these. Bungie barely had the range for that, but landed it. Trading axles and drags here. Pretty common mix-ups. Blocks the jab. Excellent block. Finally, some stabs coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice around the parry there. And a wow. combo. Oh, but he gets jabs. Reset here. Quasi's low, though. On the back foot. He might be trying to lure him into something, but he's yeah. like, no, I'm just pressing out, bro. Don't worry about me. Bungie wants it, Ooh, but he's that? getting aggressive. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow, wow. He whiffs twice there, Two Quasi whiffs, does. two whiffs, exactly. Yeah, it's, that's a characteristic the two-time. Players that you have to constantly swap what you're playing, he's oh, yeah. very quickly adaptable, but once he's got you locked in, there, there's there's no escaping that. You have to constantly be adapting to, to take rounds off him. Yeah, and just the stuff that you would normally catch another player with, he's just not going to fall for. That's the no, he, 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 I mean, he will not. Spongy, frankly, but... Yeah, for sure. Both these guys are very, very kind of immune to those kinds of things you know at this point. what I missed this tournament? I didn't, we, there was, well, frankly, we had no one-handers except for Trev on the cudgel and Sun got on the Warhammer. Yeah, I did a little Maybe bit of one-hander one against on Swag. Right? I took two rounds off Swag with the Mace. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we missed that on the stream. Sorry. I wish we got... No, 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 no. You're good. I would. It, the prophecy was going to be fulfilled. Right. And Bungie so takes a, a death right there. Yes. It can be quite effective. It's uh, obviously not super high damage, but man, the pressure you can put up on it is great. I feel like it's not... It's not a great option against these really high tier players because they will not fall for stuff like that most of the time. And the, and the damage you're getting off of single strikes is not really worth it. You need to almost use these like heavier weapons to get like two or three right. hits because that's all you're going to get most of the time. Right. You're not going to ever combo these guys. And just them being shorter makes the neutral game harder. Although the fast. Yeah. And he's back to Danax again. I think the speed was actually very important for his game plan of being aggressive. The, the War Axe. I'm sorry. The Battle Axe is. Uh, I think it's just Quasi was, was reading it very easily. And the range was not doing him any favors. So. Dan X, at least, he can get some unpredictability with some fast overheads. Still do the drags. That's a nice little horizontal there. Yep.
Great jabs as usual. Bungie is one hit from a perfect. I like this uh, switch. Wow. Oh, wow. Well. Big, 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 big. <laughs> oh, big wow. Lift, but it's not Good focused. dodge there. But he's out stamped. Uh, That's going to hurt big time. Yeah. He's kick. But will Quasi go for the kick of this little health? Probably not. No, I don't think so. I think he, he's, he'd rather win on the hit. Yeah, it's it probably is closer to jab. I don't. It kick would be close. I mean, I don't know. Vanguards have a really low health pool. With with the way his tick looks right now, I bet you you could get kicked. But he's not gonna go for it. Not a single special thrown between either of these players. No, I don't, I don't think we've seen Quasi use any specials the entire tournament. No, he does. He's not a special guy. He yeah. does not want to use no, those. Take notes, special enjoyers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they can be effective. I've landed some specials on Quasi that'll let me get him disarmed, but it's a huge risk. I mean, you have to be yeah. absolutely well, unless, certain unless you're, you're using the one-handed spear, then it's you know free. <laughs> oh, his kick lands, but nothing happens, and he wasn't low enough. Oh, oh wow. wow! Doesn't matter. The new what a joust there. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Quasi three rounds away from taking the victory and being the three-time trial by blood winner. Oh, humongous! And for his own defensive comfort, I, I don't think the switch to great sword is a bad idea at all. No, yeah, I mean it's definitely a move, and he's more familiar with. And again, this is a a player that you need to be swapping constantly for. When you start taking rounds off him. It has to be off of a swap because that's when you're going to be able to adjust your playstyle and throw off his time. Quasi needs a warm up period of like a round or two to start really downloading your playstyle. Wow. And uh, this just helps out. But he's hurt, man. Budgie's hurt. Watch out. Wow. Excellent dodge from Quasi. Able to reset his parry there and uh, dodge some damage. But he got hit. Some other thing. He's out. Uh, he's under half here. I like Bungie spacing, but this just it just feels better because he feels like he has more room to work. Yeah, you could kind of play it range. He, like he was straight to. up behind him there. He didn't have the window of uh, timing to attack, but yeah, really good positioning. Great footwork, 100%. That's oh the, wow! Around the parry there, like big damage. The back. Surprised if we don't see a jab or a kick here. There's the kick. Should be a jab to finish. He wanted that chip damage. Yeah, but Quasi's ready for the jabs big time. We'll see I'm a sure faint we'll into a kick a here. Oh, yep, there it kick, is. But not punished. And oh, oh, then he gets punished. Early wow. is punished. Yeah. That's the thing, though. He's waiting for it. He got a little bit greedy with the kicks because he wanted it, and Quasi played on something. Look at that. Bungie on Heavy Mace. Swapping ditto, again. Yeah. Well, the ditto just eliminates all variables, as we were mentioning earlier, which could be good, could be bad. Just who's playing better. We are 2-5 in favor of Quasi. Quasi just needs two more rounds. Bungie's going to need a five-round victory here to get to the next set. Has anybody oh, run it back two. against Quasi yet? I don't think so. Yes, I believe last tournament we had a... Who was it? Uh, I don't remember who it was. I think it might have been Swag, maybe Cryptic. But it was uh, it was a run back set where yeah. Um, oh, that you know you're right you're right I remember that now. Was it KC? Yeah. Fuck, I'll look. Oh, it might have been KC. KC is definitely one of those players up there. Um, I was surprised to see him knocked out, uh, kind of in the middle area. But we've got some really good, really good players today. Shin, it was Shin. It was Shin. Why would Bungie I not think it was Shin? Kill below in fourth. Casey was in fifth. So okay. Shin is another excellent player. I wish he was here today. Yeah, dude, it's, you know he would have been here tomorrow, but it's the holidays, man. Unfortunately. He's on season Santa Con. <laughs> oh, really? Oh That's my god, yeah. Good. Here we go. Quasi's low. Uh, Bungie is is uh, probably got one hit on him left. Bungie needs this win. To, to rally here. If he doesn't oh, get this, yeah. I don't know. He's going to be in a tough spot. I mean, the, the counters are... There it is. Wow, there's, there it is. Yeah. That's huge for Bungie. This could be a rally here for him. Great Excel space. He, Definitely not. No, Quasi has been sticking to his guns all day. He's been practicing with this weapon. He's been doing well with this weapon. 
I do not foresee a change from him today. Just feeling each other out, not willing to take any big risks. A couple more blocks than counters here. I think we're going to start seeing some lower stamina. Quasi yeah, whiffed the and then got hit play. again. Somebody's Some huffing a little bit. Here. You know, seeing Take her a walk. jab, yeah. Oh, it's like heavy mace tennis. Yeah, this is we're hitting some ping pong here. Nobody wants to give the first hit here. That's crazy. Little feints from Bungie, but red by Quasi. You're gonna have to just sneak in jabs. Yeah, I think something needs to happen here. Something, some pace needs to be changed. Somebody needs to go for a kick. A special. Yeah, they're content to just tire each other out. I think. Yeah. Oh, there's the first, first hit. Block. Two minutes in, right? Wow. wow. Huge miss from miss. Bungie. Yeah. And then get a big punish from Quasi. There's the kick from Quasi. He wanted it. Quasi is on the match point for Trial by Blood 3. He needs one guy on a hundred of ping, dude. Uh, it was, I think it was third he got there. I forget. He got, yeah, it was third place. I mean, one of the best players in the world, if not the best. Great jump from Bungie, but Quasi does not take the hit. Tries it again and gets punished. Wow, he gets punished big time. Bungie's on half health at this point. He needs a huge, huge rally here to stay in the game. I'm extremely tense right now. Can only imagine what's going through Bungie's so though. Definitely seems a little bit less uh, aggressive than he was before, you know? Yeah. He needs to keep his morale up, though. Yeah. If he wants he, a chance of winning this. Long, I, guess, I think that's what it is. He's got a mountain. Wow. Great crouch back there. Huge drag. He's caught it's Quasi fun. here. It's not over yet. Oh, no. I mean, it's going to go on for another five minutes. <laughs> Oh, a whiff. Wow, big whiff. It's really heavy. He already had the heavy cued or something. Bungie just took a couple blocks there. He needs to counter here. Oh, There's big kick! kick. Finally, and he catches That's it. That's what wow. I'm talking about, man. That <laughs> kick can come out. It catches Quasi when you use it sparingly. Once every three minutes, you're good. <laughs> but he got hit with a stab there. Yeah. Oh, he's quite low. Now it's a one-hit game. Bungie fighting for his Both these life. guys are one hit. Most important hit of their lives. <laughs> Oh, 
Why are you taking some risks with these feints? I think Quasi may gamble one of them. Yeah, I think Quasi's gonna throw something in here. He's got a large lead on points, and he can he can risk it. Surprised I'm not seeing more jabs, but you know. No, I think they're these guys are laser focused right now. They've got their jabs out of them earlier in the match. Yeah, <laughs> they're all jabbed out. Great jab block. They're throwing jabs oh. back at each other. <laughs> Just a few to make sure they were. Oh, there's a fourth. Oh, and that's going to be it. Quasi uh. wins trial by blood three. A three time victor. $600 going to this man. Undoubtedly, undeniably the best duelist in North America. And dare I say, the rest of the world. I mean, in. Incredible showing from both those players. Bungie came back all the way from loser's finals.